Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will do a comparison between the new Nexus 7 and the iPad 4. Now just to give you a quick recap, the Nexus 7 runs a quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.5 GHz with 2 GB of RAM. And the iPad runs a dual-core A6X processor clocked at 1.2 GHz with 1 GB of RAM. And uh, since we are doing a graphic performance comparison, you should know that the iPad has a Power VR SGX 554 MP4 GPU, while the Nexus 7 has an Andrino 320 GPU, and GPU stands for the graphic unit that's in the system. Now the iPad's GPU actually packs more raw power than the Andrino 320. So let's run some heavy duty tests that push both of these GPUs to their peak. And just so you know quickly, I will be using the GFX Bench Benchmarking Tool 2.7, which is the latest version and what this tool does is it allows you to compare the 3D graphical performance in cross-platform devices such as the iOS and Android. And then it gives you a bunch of numbers and then you can compare the numbers and see which one uh, performed better. Okay, so here we have our devices and let's find and launch the GFX Bench benchmarking tool on the Android first. So pop right there, go inside. Let me go to the iPad and find the same thing, uh, benchmarking folder right there, GFX. Okay, I'm not going to run all the tests. We're going to go to performance tests, but we're not going to run everything because the, these little ones are low-level tests. We're going to run the heavy-duty test, uh, the tests. Uh, the one of them is the T-Rex HD and the other one is the Egypt HD. And they're both going to be graphically intensive. So let's do the same for the iPad, only the top seven tests. Okay, and uh, let's launch these. And it's going to take a while for these guys to run and to complete. But I'm going to have you watch almost the whole thing so you can see the whole uh, processing on screen. So there you go. So that's the first one where the a giant T-Rex is going to be chasing this girl on the bike. So as you can see, the iPad and the uh, Nexus 7 look very much the same. In fact, the Nexus 7 has a little bit better frame rates, but let's not say anything here. We're going to look at the results when they're done. And I just want to let you know, these are console quality graphics, okay? The same tests that they're running here can be run on PCs. In fact, they do run these tests for the high-end graphics cards. Remember, this is a cross-platform tool. Okay, so let's uh, keep watching all this. By the way, there's no sound in these tests, so don't expect to hear anything other than my pretty voice. Okay, so you'll be seeing the T-Rex test one more time, and then the next test is going to be the Egypt HD test. And after that, I'm going to do a quick fast forward all the way end to the results, because uh, it takes time to crunch the numbers.
Okay, so we're almost done here. So the results are in for the iPad. Let's wait for the other one to get done before we analyze the numbers here. Okay, so the results are coming up on the um, on the Nexus 7. Okay, so there we have the results. So let's uh, put them put this in the um, the same orientation here as the Nexus 7, so we can compare and contrast. So let's go from bottom to top. On the first test at the bottom, Egypt HD, the iPad and the Nexus 7 are 40 and 40. And then the next test is 40 and the iPad is 54. So the iPad, iPad is actually better. And then if you look at the, uh, the third one from the bottom, the GFX Bench 2.7 T-Rex HD, you see 15 FPS on the Nexus 7 and you see 12 on the iPad. Uh, next one up is uh, 15 again, and then you get 17 on the iPad. And let's skip to the top two now. So let's look at the one on the top. The one on the top uh, has 16 frame rates per second. The iPad has 17. The second one has 15 frame rates per second, and the iPad has 13. So without putting too much emphasis on the individual numbers, approximately speaking, these two guys are performing almost the same. So you got the Nexus 7, $229, and you got the Apple iPad 4, which is a $500, and they end up performing almost similarly. Okay, and this is a very high-level benchmarking tool. Hopefully in the future I'll make some videos where I'll be comparing actual games side-by-side. Side. But for now, this will have to do. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up. Throw any questions or comments in the comments section below. And subscribe to my channel for more videos to come.